G'day guys, welcome back to True Footy. Today's just a little bit of a channel update. I wanted to keep you guys in the loop um, of something that's about to happen for me. Um, I am traveling. I'm, uh, by the time you're watching this, I'm already in the air. I'm going to America for a month now. Uh, I just wanted to update you guys as to the impact on the channel, which I'm hoping is not gonna be too significant at all. I'm still gonna be uploading, um, but I did actually have this thought occur to me. It's like, I've been uploading so much. Since I got back to the UK in September from my last holiday last year, um, I've been making like two videos a day Quite literally, sometimes I've made four videos in a day, sometimes I've made five videos in a day. It's been ridiculous. Um, and I got to the point where I was like, if I don't upload for a week or something like that, um, are people gonna think I'm dead? <laughs> like it, I felt, um, as a result of that, I felt like I needed to let people know that the uh, frequency might be dipping a little bit over the next uh, month or so. So to be specific, you know, I've, um, I've got about six videos already uploaded for April. I've even, I'm already working on one for the first week of May. Um, the same thing on True Eagle. There's gonna be content already preloaded, ready to go. It's actually why I haven't been uploading quite as much as I used to on True Footy. You know, if you remember, it wasn't that long ago, I was literally uploading two videos a day. I'm still doing, I'm still making the videos at that rate. I'm just pushing them into the future a little bit um, so that there's still some to drop on April and a little bit in May as well. As for stuff that I'll be doing over there, I, I think I'm gonna try and make it as easy for myself as possible. Just the tips will still be a regular thing. The one that might suffer is the AFL come down. Um, the, the main reason for that is A, the time zone makes it a little bit tricky for me to watch every game. I'll still watch most, but uh, the other thing is like, I'll be with my sister at her place and my niece and nephew are pretty young and then I won't be able to film on a Sunday. Um, you know, two kids under six. It's gonna be a little bit noisy. So um, yeah, just the format's gonna change a little bit. I'm gonna park the football come down. I keep calling the AFL come down, but just gonna park that for a little bit. Happy with the way the show's gone um, at the moment. Just the tips will be a regular thing as well as a bunch of other content like video essays, AFL underrated, um, uh, unpopular opinions is another one. But yeah, I'm just dipping. So for those who don't know, like the whole reason I moved to the UK was uh, to be able to travel and enjoy my life. And uh, I've worked really hard since September. Um, it's been wins and losses, like I've made some good content, I've made some bad content. It's been a slog and I've lived so relentlessly with YouTube in my mind. I found new challenges to being a full-time YouTuber, it's, it's quite difficult. And I'm looking forward to taking this opportunity to, to just switch off a little bit. I haven't been able to do that for about six months. And this isn't a sob story, but I think I need this time. Um, it's not ideal that it's during the footy season. There's a million factors to why it is this time. Yeah, first of all, I've got to line it up with my family over in the States. I didn't have a passport for a few months there. I lost that in Mykonos. Money was a factor too. It's still going to be a factor, but thank God for credit cards. Am I right? So yeah, like I... The weather's getting a bit nice, uh, I decided to travel, but I, I assure you I've put in a mountain of work to, to try and get this channel to still you know tick over and, and have you guys have something to watch over the next four to six weeks. I will be dipping to Greece a little bit at the end of May as well, um, but again, I'm going to be back in the UK for a couple of weeks, make sure, I'm hoping you won't even notice, but essentially I won't be making daily content for a couple of months. I'm really looking forward to this mental break. I think I need it. I think it's worn me down a little bit, which I knew could, was probably gonna happen and that's fine. I've just made decisions to make this my job. And as a result, I have to deal with the downsides of that. Namely, hourly rates, not so good. Um, and also, you know, even just dealing with feedback has become more challenging in the current lifestyle that I have. The feedback's been fine. Like obviously I'll get good feedback and bad feedback sometimes, but there is a there is an effect of like, I've noticed that when I upload two videos in a, in a row that do badly, it does sort of get to me and, it, and the comments have not really been over the line at all. It'll just be like, hey man, you cooked this or something like that. That'll be like the worst comment I might get. And that's fine. Nobody's doing the wrong thing. But because of the time difference, I wake up, I look at my phone, I see comments like that and it just puts a negative lens over the whole day. It's like I'm busting my ass here. And then some days I feel like I'm failing. And I think that has been a, a really good plus for me making True Eagle now, because essentially, you know, the, the, the filler videos that I'd make before, the tear makers, the, the ones that people seem to get riled up about, I'm gonna cool it with those for a little while, you know? They don't really do much. They don't necessarily get views. People seem to dislike them. And then I have to deal with the criticism, which, you know, honestly, I, I don't really care about the comments in isolation, but it's just an interesting thing that happens to your mindset, your mentality. It, it seeps in when these things build up and I need to get better at managing that. And that is why I think it's really good for me to, to take a little bit of a break. And even things like, even on an Eagles channel, which I thought was gonna be easy, I was like, oh yeah, everyone's gonna get along. Yeah, and I forgot about opposition trolls. I forgot about all the Eagles fans that just wanna tear apart the club. And that's fine, like nobody's crossed the line. I just wanna make that clear, nobody's crossed the line. It's all been fine, people are just speaking their opinion. I'm, I'm just saying I've kind of discovered a new challenge that I hadn't really foreseen. And that is just living in this swirl of negativity and, 
and pessimism um, between the two channels, it has this effect. So I'm, I'm just looking forward to a break, that's all. Just a little bit of a mental reset. Uh, I'm gonna go live my life for a little bit. I haven't really been doing that for the last six months. I've had fun, I have no regrets. I've made the decisions, I stick by them, deal with the consequences, get better at dealing with things that's hard about doing this and come back uh, refreshed and you know have a really good second half of the year. I, I'm probably not gonna be traveling after that. It's pretty much me done. So we'll see what happens. Um, but I, yeah, I'll still be on the channel guys. I've worked really hard to, to build the community side of things. I don't know if that's come across, but you know, 12 months ago, it wasn't really doing a great job of replying to comments. Um, you fast forward to now, I, I, I'm better at it. Some days it's hard. Like I said, sometimes I just need to switch off. Even even when they're not bad comments, like sometimes like I'm not active on Instagram for that reason. I got to protect my brain a little bit. But um, you know, the community generally has been fantastic. Like really, really appreciate your support. That is not, uh, that's not a throwaway comment at all. I really do. I feel really in touch with the audience now. I'm really glad I made the decision to, first of all, start replying to comments. Second of all, have things like the AFL come down, live streams have come back. All these shows where you guys are part of it, um, I think has kind of breathed a new life into the channel. Um, whereas 12 months ago, it wasn't going so good. So yeah, thank you. That, that's all gonna come back. Uh, that's still important to me. Um, but yeah, for the next six to eight weeks, maybe, Probably won't see a live stream or an AFL come down. At least for the next four, uh, we'll see about May. I might have a chance to do some in May. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to update you. Um, you know, I'm probably overthinking it, but I didn't want anyone to think, you know, I just started withdrawing and slacking. I could have just gone to America and not mentioned it. And you probably would have noticed I'll just be in a different room when I'm filming. But you will just see a little bit, little bit less of me. But to be fair, we're probably still talking like between the two channels, four uploads a week, which is... It's not bad. But anyway, thank you so much for the support, guys. Um, I fly in about 36 hours, so time to pack, time to switch my brain off. It's been insane the last few months, and I'm looking forward to it, um, and I'm also looking forward to coming back and uh, getting straight back into it. So thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.